Mr. Speaker, what a difference six months makes. In July, Canada was hosting an anti-ISIS meeting in October in Quebec City. Vote that restraint, folks. Come on now. The Honourable Member for Selkirk Interlake Eastman has the floor. In July, Canada was hosting an anti-ISIS meeting in Quebec City, and now we weren't even invited to the anti-ISIS meeting in Paris. The Liberals' incoherent and indecisive messaging has diminished Canada's reputation on the world stage. When will the Prime Minister provide Canadians and our allies with a detailed strategy for, to defeat ISIS, and will he leave our CF-18s in the fight? Honourable yeah. Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, meeting with our uh, coalition partners uh, is extremely important. That's why in my first two weeks of, uh, uh, of uh, taking on my mandate, I uh, hosted the Halifax Security Conference where I got to meet with my counterparts from all over the world. Uh, but more importantly, just meeting with political leaders is actually to get the ground truth on the ground. And that's why I went to, went to the region twice within two months, two months, and that's how serious we take this mission. Well, Mr. Speaker, Canadians and our allies have grown tired of the Liberals' incoherent messaging and lack of concrete plan to defeat ISIS. And that's why we weren't invited to the anti-ISIS meeting in Paris last week. When the Minister of National Defence was first asked why he was not attending the meeting, he used his busy schedule as an excuse. Later, his office confirmed that he was never even invited. When will the Minister apologize for intentionally misleading Canadians? Here, here, here. The Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, for the last two years, Canadians had not actually attended th this meeting. Um, I have attended a meeting with, uh, with my coalition partners um, uh, and got to meet with Secretary Fallon in London, got to meet with my counterparts uh, in many different countries. But more importantly, Canadians expect us to be responsible, and that's why I'm taking the time to make sure that we get this right, to make sure that we take the fight to, uh, to, uh, to this horrible enemy, and making sure that we not only do it from a military manner, but also to bring in with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of CETA so we get this mission right. Thank you.